Hey there guys, it's Amit here and welcome back to DevDreamer. We now move on to looking at CSS pseudo classes. So we've been really focusing in the last few lessons on wrapping our heads around and trying to understand how elements can be selected. In this lesson, as I said, we're going to be looking at CSS pseudo classes. And the best way to explain this is really through the use of a anchor tag. So let's just put an anchor tag on here or a link. So here we'll just do a uh, href, just put a hashtag in here for now, that's fine. And here, let's just say click me. Okay, so then on our screen then, we've rendered out this uh, link here that says click me. Of course, it won't go anywhere at the moment because we've put this in here. But we're not concerned with that. We're concerned with the styling of this. For now, let's take a look at the CSS pseudo classes. So let's go to our CSS file. And in here then, let's first select this by styling the unvisited link. So at the moment, it's got this uh, underline on here. Uh, you know, I don't want that. So let's just say A, the A tag. And then we say colon, and then you've got all these uh, options here. We're looking for link. And then here we can just say text decoration, none. So in other words, whenever we put links on a page, how do we want to style them? So up here, we can say that this is the styling for an unvisited link. Now let's see how to style this when we hover over it. At the moment, if I hover over this, you can see, you know, we don't get anything. We do get this cursor pointer, but in terms of the actual text here, nothing changes. So let's say we wanted to change that. To do that, again, we would select the uh, A tag. Let's just put our comment in first, actually. And this will be for hovered links. And we just do A. And then again, we do this uh, colon symbol here. And then we say hover. Space, curly braces. So what do we want to do when the user hovers over this link here? Let's say we wanted to change the color to orange red. Perfect. Now in our browser window here, if I hover over this, awesome, you can see that the text color changes from blue to orange. So that's how to style unvisited links. Here we just remove the text decoration, the underline, and how to style hovered links. Now let's look at how to style active links. Active is basically when you've clicked on the actual link with the mouse button still down. So not when you've clicked it and release the mouse button, but when you've actually clicked down. And of course, we'll take a look at this in just a second. But here, let's just do our comment and let's say active link. Uh, and it's A colon. And then for this, it's just active. And uh, what do we want to do when this is active? We want to change the color again to, let's go for lawn green. Okay. And before we look at that, let's actually do the final one here, which is a visited link. So when the user has visited the actual link, what sort of styling do we want to give? Let's do a colon. Yeah, you guessed it visited. And here, let's say, let's change the color to red. So all links that the user has clicked on and visited, they will go red. So let's take a look at this in its entirety. So here then we have a link. Okay. When it's unvisited, just as it is now, we want to remove the text decoration which was on there, which we had on there. When it's hovered over, we want to change the color to orange red, which is what we get right there. When it's active, in other words, when the mouse has been clicked down, we want to change the color to green, this long green color here. And then finally, when it's been visited, we want to change the color to red. So let's see that in action. So blue, hover over it, orange red, click down on it, active link, color, long green, and then we release, visited is red. Okay, so as you can see guys, the pseudo classes here give us more options and more flexibility in terms of how we want to style. And not just how we want to style, but also under which circumstances. So for example, here when we hover over, we want to do a style. When it's active, when the link is active, we want to do a style. When it's visited, we want to do a style. So the CSS pseudo classes really do give us a lot more options, enabling us to build custom and better websites. So that's it for this lesson on CSS pseudo classes. In the next lesson, we'll continue by looking at some more CSS pseudo classes and the different scenarios in which you can use them. So please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.